everybody, Scott here. I wanted to talk to you about two really cool things that you can do with Solana developer tools. Number one is create some vanity addresses for tokens with the Solana token program. And number two is how to link your Solana key pair on the command line interface to a hardware wallet. Let me show you those two things and I think this would be really helpful documentation for you to follow so that you can uh, get started with Solana and developing on Solana. Just a heads up, this video is a little bit long, so if you want to just take a look at vanity addresses, go to minute about 440, thereabouts. We're going to start out right now looking how to pair your, uh, or generate a key pair with the Solana CLI for your Ledger hardware device. So let's get started. It's really cool. And one of the first places you should go are the Solana docs uh, at docs.solana.com. It'll teach you how to do whatever you want to do. We're going to talk about this in a minute, creating an SPL token, but the time being we're going to take a look at how to set up a key pair and your key pair being with a ledger nano so a hardware wallet why a hardware wallet well i think if you're already here you know or if you don't already hardware wallets are more secure they're a way to keep your private keys offline and it's a form of two-factor authentication so i'm using the ledger nano it's kind of hard to see here but there it is it's a ledger nano s it connects with the usb and you're gonna to need to connect this. You're gonna to need to set up your Solana app on it. And then you're gonna to need to close the Ledger Live app in order to use it with the CLI. So once you have it plugged in, enter in there, uh, get, go into or navigate into the Solana app, which I can do here. And you see I have two apps. I don't know if you can tell, I have Bitcoin and Solana. I'm gonna to go to the Solana app and I'm gonna enter in there. And when it says application is ready, there you go. Application is ready on Solana. At that point, you're ready to use the CLI. Um, and then you also need to make sure you install the Solana command line tools. We'll go over that one in a different video. So you need to figure out what your public key is. And we're gonna use uh, Ledger Nano, like I said, here for that. So I'm gonna enter in this command, Solana keygen pubkey USB ledger. And I'll just copy this here from the docs. And I'm going to go to my command line, wherever it is, here, and I'm going to enter that in. At which point you should see a key. And you can also run Solana config git and figure out where your key pair path is. Right now, I've set mine, you can see the WebSocket, the URL, it's set to mainnet, etc, etc. But you can see your key pair path is set to the Ledger Nano right with this same address that it shows right here uh, and from that I can start um, working with all the other different commands that uh, let's see oops nope that the Solana CLI gives me including these right I don't have any soul in here so but you get the picture um, it's starting to read from here. If I disconnect my ledger, this will not show up. And we could run Solana config git, get our configuration and see that the key pair path is set to this. But how do we get to that point? Well, that's back in the documentation. Although it's not well documented, it kind of had to play around with it and figure it out. Solana config set dash dash key pair. And then I entered this convention here. So that's a specific convention that they sort of lay out uh, in the documentation where it starts with USB dot dot slash slash ledger, the device name, and I'm assuming that they can add more devices later, and then your wallet ID, which you got from this command here, Solana keygen pubkey USB ledger, when you first plugged in your ledger. At that point, your config is set to this key pair path. And there you go. Now you're officially using your Solana key pair with Ledger. To create a vanity address and then use it with the SPL token program. And if we look on Solana docs, we can find their token program. And you're going to need to make sure that you have uh, the Solana command line interface installed. And then you can install the SPL token CLI. And what you're going to do is go through 
some of these steps to create a token. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna pull in my command line here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is config git, show you my configuration. I have it uh, set to the devnet now. And you can set your key pair path by um, a similar command. So I'm uh, set key pair and then, you know, whatever path that you want to put. Um, generally, it's stored in the .config dash Solana dash whatever JSON file, right, for your command line wallet. The command I'm gonna use to find a vanity address is the grind command. I'm going to, for instance, search for something that starts with SCO for my own name. So it's Solana Keygen Grind dash dash starts dash with whatever letters you want here. I uh, just want one and ignoring case will greatly reduce the amount of time it takes to find this. Found one, so that's a go, ends with doesn't matter. Here we go, here's a key pair, right? This is really helpful, uh, ends with the JSON, just keep that in mind, but this is the actual key, right? It's stored in this JSON um, file, and it's helpful for if you want to create a token with uh, identify that's easily identified for people say like you want people to know that this is the Scott token It's really easy because this contract has the SEO at the very beginning So what I'm going to do with this is now create a uh, Token and I'm going to use importantly the same configuration So it's important to note that you have this as your key pair path and that comes into play when we're starting to assign or create a token account for this new key pair that we've just generated because we're going to have to associate this key pair some of the key pairs in it with this all right so that'll be what we do next so if we're going to mint this token we can go with the uh, solana token cli installed we can say mint as spl token spl dash token mint and then add our unique token i want to mint this mini scott token All right it's going to give me an error oops because i didn't provide the amount of it to mint let's say i want to make myself a kajillionaire and I get this error, account cannot be parsed as a token account, right? Not yet, anyway. And it's assigning this random public key, this random account, which is also associated with my devnet JSON account. I am going to create the token and then create the account itself. So to create the token, you're going to need your, uh, what you grinded for which was you uh, completed the Solana Keygen grind, starts with these letters, just get the first option, ignore case to make it quicker, um, and here we go. Got this JSON, which we're gonna use, I'm gonna copy this, whole path, and it failed because I forgot to token, create token. Um, to actually create the token. So I'm going to do this. Which was SPL token, create token. Uh, it finalizes, it gives me a signature. Now I can make the token account here. And you see the signature. And now I can mint it. Uh, let's see, where did I? I had minting. There we go. And I'm just going to mint one of these. Uh, let's do two, just in case. I'm gonna mint two, ta-da! And you'll see the recipient tells me the token, and now this recipient has two of these tokens, which is great. If I want to go into my Phantom Wallet and send one there, make sure I'm on DevNet, and go to Settings, J 
change network to all these different networks. Make sure you're on DevNet. You go back to the wallet and get my wallet address into here. And I can send one of these tokens so that you can see that it works successfully. And I'm gonna transfer some in a very specific way. I'm going to go SPL token with the hyphen. Transfer command. I'm going to transfer transfer this token. So I'm going to grab my token address that I just created. I'm going to transfer one token to my um, Phantom wallet over here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back here. Sorry about the all the back and forth. And then I'm going to add a flag here. Well, let's run it like this and see what happens. And it's not gonna work because the recipient's associated token account doesn't exist. And it actually even tells you, add fund recipient to fund their account, which means that when I'm sending it, that's how airdrops work. When I send it, I'm sending it from here. And I can fund it, fund the send with pay for the gas fees essentially from this account. So let's try that again uh, with the dash dash fund recipient flag. Ooh, look at that. And it's gonna work because I funded the recipient. And now I can look up this transaction on a Soul Explorer, or I could just go into my wallet and find, here we go, SCO. Here's an unknown token. And there's a transaction. All right, well, if you found that helpful, let me know, like, and subscribe. I'll be posting a little bit more about my journey into soul development here and just uh, explainers and tutorials because it also helps me remember how to do these things. So, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.